Happy Saturday, everyone. Oh, oh my gosh. I got to get my butt a going here. It's already 11 a.m. and we got to get this uploaded for you guys to watch. So I had to come back to Lumber Tycoon 2. Oh, by the way, we're in Lumber Tycoon 2. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I do know uh, that our school here, I believe, was done. I think this Sunday might be when people might be graduating. Is that pretty bad? I don't have it. Well, I have a kid in, in the one, but yeah, anyways, uh, back to Lumber Tycoon 2. Uh, last uh, yesterday's video, I was attempting to show you how to do a door bridge. It has been, well, it's been years since I worked done anything with the door bridge uh exception i did go and attempt to help somebody with their door bridge uh let's see here see if i remember who that is i'll give that person a shout out just to try to get my my memories back in in all let's see here It was basically through a Discord server. They were asking for some help. I was like, sure, I can try. It's been a while because their door bridge was broken. So broken means that some of it would open, but not all of it. There was like this break in the middle spot. We did find out that there was a double door, which uh, double doors happen uh, when you have a blueprint and you go to fill it. And it like disappears. The uh, reason it disappears from what I found out is I think it's like every 10 minutes um, your game saves. It's like every so often your game saves. If you do something at that right moment that it saves, it like just disappears. So if you ever move something over and you go to play something and you're like, where did my you know, wall go or or flooring go, if you go ahead and you leave your game and come back, reload it, it's going to probably be there. At that time, it's not there, but if you reload it, it does show up. So then the problem is, is you put in there a door on top of that, now it doesn't know what you want to attach. But that's a little more into the specifics. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, why don't I just, uh, that might be a little, let's see what we got here. So I did try to search up on YouTube. First off, we're gonna go ahead, uh, since I'm just standing around here anyhow, giving a little chit chat. Uh, hey, if you like any of the videos that you watch on the channel, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna comment on them and that, uh, maybe tell me how it helped you or whatever, uh, you can leave a comment down below. And last but not least, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. We are working our way up that ladder on subs. And I appreciate each and every one of you being here, taking some time out of your day just to hang out, to have fun, and learn a little bit about the games that I play, or the quirks, or the, yeah, just to enjoy some time in Roblox and whatever game that we're in. So yeah, and while you subscribe, hit the hit that 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 yeah, get that out of there. Hit that bell for notifications, because you want to know when I have the next scheduled live stream. So maybe you can join. Maybe you got some free time, especially now. You know, maybe you don't have any school. Uh, maybe it's a time when you're off work. Um, regardless. Um, I enjoy having you all here, and I appreciate each and every one of you subbing, taking the time to just uh, support me and my channel. So thank you so much. So back to the door bridge. Uh, that's what I was doing. I was like, where is my train of thought going here? Delibe. Oh, let's see here. Um, do, 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 Second, it should be in just regular direct messages, I think. Oh, it's been a little while since I've been in my dis Discord. I need to get back into 
chatting in my Discord. Uh, no. Okay. Back to this one. So, yeah, so I was trying to help out a fellow player, and it was not... We got we got them both working, but then when they went to reload, we found out I think one was fixed and the other one wasn't. So then after further looking and I was moving things, there was like I moved one door and the other. Um, oh, here we go. It was angry underscore blobfish. Is that actually their name? And I think that is in the game. Let's see here. You're like, dude, Delive, you're taking like five minutes just to explain to us this whole thing. Well, you know. <clears throat> Ooh. Tuck on my throat there, yeah. Yeah, it's probably about fun five five minutes. So da, da. Yes. It was. It was angry underscore blobfish. So if you're watching Angry, uh thanks for letting me try to attempt to help you out. I hope you finally got your door bridge fixed. Uh, so that takes us back to Lumber Tycoon 2, and we are still in nighttime. Wow. So I looked on YouTube. I did not see anything. Of course, you know, I saw some cool creation. Um, I think it's Electrotech, if I remember, is uh, um, the YouTuber, the Robloxer, the Robloxian, however you want to say it. Uh, Let's see. I think it's Electrotech. I should just get another third monitor. Yeah, Electrotech. Electrotech does a lot of cool things. So, yes, I'll give a shout out to Electrotech. I'm sure some of you might have already seen his YouTube videos. But, yeah, um, what Electrotech did was made rotating door bridges. So, the thing that makes all this work is they basically fuse to another piece of blueprint in a sense so they use like cars of that to where they can actually rotate their bridges so they can like get a door bridge <laughs> like to all the islands things like that really cool it sounds neat uh anything with dealing with door bridges takes a heck of a long time so the big issue i had is i know a while back you could not you cannot place or work on door bridges it was like seemed like it was totally patched and that's what i was wondering here it's been so long did they repatch it is it you know fixed i actually came across and i never even thought of it i should have i should have had my ladder on the side of where your door pivots and i think that was the biggest thing because you got to see something behind your door uh it's sort of like a boundary kind of thing so i've made some more door blueprints here we are waiting for this never ending oh look the sun will come up tomorrow oh it looks like we're starting to get daylight that's good because sometimes it's a little bit easier to see some of these things in the daytime i will tell you now when you do if you ever Go and start making YouTube videos, and you make a screenshot. The screenshots, oh, excuse me, at nighttime, aren't as noticeable. Oh, excuse me. Now, the cool thing is here is that you could edit all this video, and you could take out my blunders and all my talking. But, you know, what? I try to keep it real, because you know what? Why not? We're all real, right? We don't have to be... We don't have to go and pretend to be somebody else than who we are. We should be able to enjoy ourselves just for who we are. And are you going to let me put it up there? So I got the door bridge to move over, but now I can't get a ladder to go up. Oh, oh there we go. Just that precise... See, the fun part, oh, that's that precise placement of all this stuff that makes it fun. Once you get the hang of it, 
it, you start getting a rhythm. It's like, you know, boop, 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 you get it all put up. It's only when you have to go up so high that you have to start making platforms because you're trying to see the top and put them up there, put the actual bridges and things. That's what takes so long, especially with a palm bridge. The one going across to the swamp or to Goldwood, like in this uh in this plot, there we go, this base. Oh my goodness. I am yawning. Why am I yawning? I got enough sleep. Didn't have to work today, but I need some water. Oh, there's water. So yeah, I actually took some time, just relaxed last night. Oh, that's another thing. I just want to clarify. Uh, sometimes I'm actually playing in Roblox, and you might not be able to get to the server I'm in. It could be that I'm in a a like friend server. It could also mean that I'm in um, my own server, and I have it set up just for myself, um, just because. I guess I guess doors is a little bit different. Doors I think I have set up for anybody that's a friend can go to it. But like for like Lumber Tycoon or like Farming and Friends, I do that just to decompress myself. So what I mean there is I just take time out of my day. I don't have to worry about um, creating any video. Don't have to worry about... Um, it's just me. Uh, I just get to go and just get a get immersed in the game, relax a little bit, maybe get a, get my base or get my area built up, things like that. So uh, if you're wondering why sometimes you can't get in or what's going on, that's the reason. So let's see here. I want to see if I can actually do this how I used to. So I used to, you would always open the door after you place it. So with this one, it should be right there. I get it right oh look at that so you can do this one or two ways you can have it to where it's already open and what i mean is you open your door up already on the ground with the fat door bridge it's a lot more or oh, i gotta go up on the other side you gotta be on the side that you want to open so i gotta be clear to close to the edge here so hopefully i can reach like there if i was on the other side of the ladder it would swing the other way. So if I open it, uh, and that was, I'm always afraid that, no, that's the right way. I had it. Okay. So basically what you do, you got to get that first one. So what I done is I deattached or I didn't attach this one. So, you know, this one, if you open it, See, it's not attached to the other. Nothing's attached yet because they're all like free. It's when you start uh, checking, moving, and then B for quitting. That's when you start to like weld them together or fuse them together. But to make a door bridge, let's go ahead and get some more blueprints out here. I know this one isn't going to make it. We've got a little little section. Let's get three more doors. How many more? Uh, I could probably do. I wonder if that's why people stagger their door or stagger their ladders too, so they don't have to make as many ladders. I'm curious. Now, can I still go up that? Or do they stagger them? Nope. Oh. They stagger them a little bit at a time. Okay. So they do a little bit above. Uh, we'll just do it the way I'm used to doing it. Let's make a couple. I'm going to have to get some more wood. And a couple fat door bridges here. Anybody have any good, cool plans for this holiday weekend? Are you traveling anywhere with your family? Are you going anywhere yourself? Uh, yeah, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. So for me, I have to take care of some things around home. 
I might go out and just enjoy uh, nature a little bit. Maybe I'll go uh, to a park around, take some walks. I have been trying to take some walks, so that's good. It's always good to stay active, especially when you get older. Sometimes you just don't get those opportunities. Oh, look. Wait, is that my half piece? Where did my... Did I kick one? Yeah, I did. That's some big feet of mine kicking them blocks everywhere. So, yeah, it really got got to me because I was like, man, here I was trying to show you guys this stuff, and it was not working one bit. So the cool thing is Dorbridge does still work, and I figure that. You know what? I'm not even worried about cutting it. Here we go. There we go. All right, so I was meaning about having it already open, so this one's already been done. So if I do open door, now it swings out this way, and that's the way I want it because all my doors are actually going on this side of the ladder. So if we go ahead, there we go. Does that make it a little bit better on this side of the ladder? Here we go, this side of the ladder. I'm so used to scrolling down and being in first person. So like how I see everything, sometimes playing this way is a little bit more uh, challenging for me to move around. Let's go ahead, E, move. All right, we're gonna go up the ladder. Since we've already got it open, it doesn't matter really which side of the ladder I'm on. But we just want to make sure. Now, see, I might get around where I have issues because you're seeing the top of my. So sometimes when you start getting used to it, you know where to place. So it's going to be trial and error. So like if I place it up here, I know it'd be too, too high on the ladder itself. So, because we're basically trying to use that ladder as that backdrop. See, everything's lined up. Oh. Like right there. So, we'll just go ahead and we'll try it on this one. Let's say it's, it's got that overlap. So, that's one cool thing that you can do. I'm not going to be able to go much more because we have the platform up here. So, once you start getting all these doors used. And the other thing is, is you can always shut your door. But see, I can't reach it. Wait, ooh, ooh. Did it let me? Really? Check. Oh, there we go. I can. Just barely. So closing it. Now, if I look down here, and I don't know if I can swing this around to without going up. See, we got that one. At the bottom of the door, it's overlapping the other door by one. You have to have it at least overlap by one. If you overlap by two or more, yeah, you can do it, but you're going to take more doors. Uh, but yeah, overlap by one. And then what you do is you close all these doors. So a lot of times we would get in the habit. And I mean, we as the people, I guess, that used to make a lot of door bridges probably. Um, yeah. I mean... Anybody that makes door bridges, you you find a routine. So like, I, mean, I go up here. Uh, this one's already closed. So then I would close this one. I'm gonna close it. Sometimes you have to be right at the edge of. See what I mean about trying to do. This. There we go. So now I should be able to reach it. There's a closed door. Close. So then I'm going to. To weld it, you would have to do a check on the one below. So you check the glass door, move it, B to quit. Now it should be attached to your top one. So if I do this, open door, boop, there we go. It's all fused together. But as you see, it's not fused with the one door above it. That's where you get that whole thing of having a broken door bridge. So we'll go ahead and go back. We'll close. So let's go up on the next one. So this is where, how I used to do it. I would always be at the, going up on the ladder, the right side of the ladder. Because then it sort of like allows me to reach over here and close these doors. So what I would do is I would close a door. And then, of course, we would be a little bit out. I would go ahead and I would check the other one below it. Uh, move it. And you can see that that one's moved, and then I would be for quit. Now, and I'll just show you this real quick here, just to 
to show you that they're all fused and the bottom one shouldn't have not or unfused. So we open. Now we have two doors that are fused together. So the cool thing is, is you can keep doing this as far up as you want to go. I mean, door bridges are a cool way you can explore other areas, but you can always see right there. Prime example, look, see, both of these doors have that one uh, length, uh, one block, one brick, whatever you want to call it. They're hanging over by one. If I moved it up one, then it would be completely level with the other bridge and it won't fuse together. So, well, it's in the door. Since we know this one, we're going to go ahead and move the one below. As we can see, and then we're going to quit. Since we've already shut the other door, we are going to just move this one. Because I don't have to go up to move it. And then we're going to quit. Pop off the old liar by pressing space bar. And then we'll come back around here. Here, I'll even get out of. And now they should all move. Woohoo! All right. The legendary the live dresser provides once again. You know, I felt really bad again of trying to, you know, explain something that I used to do so much. And here, I'll even give you the reason why I say that. So let's go ahead. We are going to close this door. And if you leave it open, so open as I mean down. If you have that door bridge down and you, um, for some reason, the server uh, crashes or kicks you off, you're disconnected, maybe a bad internet connection, maybe you left the game and you left it down. You're going to come back and let's see here. Move. Okay, it's not good. Well, this one might. I'm going to try to get it to. Okay, there we go. You're going to come back to your game like this. Door's going to be already down. Everything's going to be else's be above. You should. And I'm hoping it'll work this way with uh, doing this because since I undone the one, you should only have to go to your glass door, check it, move it, and be to quit. And it will do that right there. It's going to refuse it back together. So don't be alarmed that you see that. Oh my gosh, you know, my glass bridge is, or my glass door is not hooked up to the rest of my door bridge. Uh, it, it happens. It's just how it works. But it's an easy fix. You just have to go to that glass door, um, select it, you know, check it with the E, and then click the move button, and then go ahead and hit the B button to quit. So I hope this helps everybody out with door bridges. Uh, I guess this is a door bridge tutorial. So door bridges uh, got me last time, but I came back and I rebounded in that second quarter to come for a win. So what I'll show you real quick here is we are going to unload out of this one. And it should be, oh boy, um, boy, boy, boy. No, I think that's my first. For some reason, slot two I did for my first save. So I think it's this one because it's also big. So let's go ahead and we will load this one up. Slot one, we're going to load it. Say bye-bye to this one. There it goes. Used to be cool when they all unloaded because all your stuff would like start falling. So you'd have like presents and <laughs> axes and everything falling, cars falling from like the second floor. It's a little bit different now. They've worked it to where it loads a little bit better. Of course, you get a lot of us with big bases in a server. Your lag time, lag is real, baby. Lag is real. Oh, look. We spent the whole day discussing this. We're coming back to nighttime. Perfect way to end of the day. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's it. I see the square, but I got to remember there's no bridge. 
So, because I still have that big, like, square building in the middle, too. All right. So, this is my, how would you call it? It would be, yeah, see how slow everything is just moving? See right there, low frame rate? Yeah, that's because of uh, the lag being real. Close, come on. Really? There we go. I need to get to the other plots. There we go. I clicked it a few times. Okay, so on the back side here. So we talk about door bridges. One of the famous ones, of course, is to um, get to the swamp so you can start getting gold wood. Uh, that was probably one of the first ones. I know people do across the regular one bridge to get to like fancy furnishings. I'll have to make one of those sometime. Uh, just so you don't have to pay that 100 to and back. Uh, you don't think it's much, but if you start going over there and getting like a lot of gifts in the holiday, it makes it a little bit easier. I'm trying to find out where my... Oh, wow, with the frame rate. Okay, there we go. So I need to be on the other side. One more. One more. Come on. Actually, we'll go further. Um, no, that's not the one I want. Okay. So here's the actual one. But we are going to... Uh, let's just put it on here. We'll just show you it. Because this is going to take a little bit just to load. As I'm hitting select and nothing's happening. I have crashed the server with just one of my builds. Actually, that shouldn't be right. It shouldn't be this slow. Come on. I hit select. Are you going to... Wow. I might have to reload into... Enter Roblox here. Because I'm clicking and nothing. Oh, there we go. Load your save. Yes, finally. All right. There's no reason to go down there. Because, oh, there we go. It's loading in. So if you do this one right across from the land store. Uh, you can also put this one. This one actually will be heading right straight towards the one Palm Island, like straight out from the dock. This is my, I like loading on this one because you got the storefront here. So I call this my little strip mall. It's in progress. I got one, two, three stores. And I had different things. Oh, we're finally loaded. We're into the home. My home that is yet to be completed. It's still a work in progress. So here we'll just show you the home. Real, there's the home real quick. We got our wood pile in the back because we got to make our money. We got our cool holiday tree there in our park. I still have to probably put down some green, but yeah, we'll get there. This one, this one's my nice little like fun. Okay, we got nighttime, so I don't even know if we're even going to be able to see. So here is a big door bridge. Uh, it doesn't look that big. When you get closer, and it looks like it gets bigger. Hey, wait, 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 we're almost to the moon. There we go. We got the door bridge to the moon. No, come back, moon. Moon, come back. Oh, man. All right. I have a nice little... Um, I used this because when I had troubles at the end i would ask other players to uh assist so they could actually come on and they'd step and they could drop it down for me they couldn't put it back up because you have to put it back up that way so the door bridge to palmwood i don't want to go too much into this because we're at almost 30 minutes here uh it's very long this first part you don't have to double it up i should have used regular doors of course i've got the 
power on this one too so it really was no big deal but for all these bridges uh what i normally try to do is every 25 i put a different color so there's 25 here and here's get sure there is there 25 inside of the well, it doesn't matter. Every 25, I do this color. And see, you can see that one overlay, how it, it's um like glitching out. Yep. You know that you've done it right. These you can't really see, but the, right there, you can. If you look at it close enough, you can see all of them. So I would do a different color. So I started off using, looks like, regular oak. And then I did a uh, pine, maybe? Uh, so every 25 was that color. When I got to a red door, that was my 100th door for this bridge. So right now you have you have placed 100 doors and these are standing upright, not like sideways like the uh, glass bridge, glass bridge, glass door for the door bridge. So we're, we're at now 125 doors. So here's where I, I could start on this one right here and start making it double because there's no reason to put all them doors up because there's there's no use here. And I am not going to go back and change these to original doors. I'm just keeping them out fat. So here's where you would want to have the two side-by-side -side fat doors. So and as you can see in the distance there, we have the island because you can see the palm trees. That's the other thing. I don't think palm would respawn. I think it only spawns once now. Way back, it used to respawn really slowly. So you could harvest it all and then come back to it, you know, half an hour later or whatever, and it would be, the trees would be there again. I haven't spent enough time to see, but here's our second red door. So there's 200, 200 doors right there. So when you're thinking, all right, we're going to make a door bridge to Palm, it takes a while because this one isn't finished. If I move up two slots to the one that's closest to the water, I can actually get to the Palm Island, and then I use a thin uh, plank. We call them planks, wood planks. Uh, code was a good one with wood planks. Um, Used them to uh, get the green box. That's one thing I don't think I've done. It's got the green box. So as you can see, we have stopped here at what? Door 250? I don't know if I can. No. We got 200, 225, 250, 275. 275. And there's no way we're going to swim it. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. But yes, that's. This one would take you right up to it. And then if you stagger them to like stairs with your doors, then you'd be able to have like a driving. You could drive all the way to it onto the uh, island and such. How do I know that? Because Code Primate actually has a door bridge that they created that does that. So with that being said, I am going to take my time walking back here, hoping that I don't fall off into the water. If you do fall off in the water and you die, you're going to lose any axes that you have. So sometimes when you do stuff like this, you just take a simple like a silver axe to go cut because you don't want to lose your mini axe or whatever axe that you currently have that's really cool. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, just taking some time out learning about door bridges. Uh, let me show you the my my famous palm bridge. One of these days I will get fully completed and we'll have some fun with that. But other than that, I think we're going to pretty much wrap up this video here. I'll get back on some dry land and we will head on out. So you have a great rest of your Memorial Day weekend. Take time to just relax with friends, family. Uh, spend time with yourself if that's taking a walk uh, on a bridge. Maybe you're um, doing a trail. Regardless, have fun. Do those things that just get you recharged because, you know, we need that. Uh, going through the work week, the school week,
just going through a, a week alone of life is sometimes challenging. But with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And just be yourselves. Because you know what? You're amazing. All of you. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.